Bernard Arnault was born on March 5, 1949, in Roubaix, France. His father was a civil engineer who also worked as a contractor. Young Arnault received engineering education at École Polytechnique in Paris and later studied business administration at École des Mines de Paris. Arnault began his career as an executive in his father's company, Ferret Savinal. Later, in 1984, he acquired an investment firm called Financière Agache, led by Jean-René Fortu, and became a business owner. Arnault merged Agache into a new company called LVMH, Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy, holding. LVMH is the owner of many luxury brands, including fashion, jewelry, perfume, and cosmetics. Arnault was the driving force behind the success of LVMH. Under his leadership, the company became a major global brand and has been repeatedly ranked number one on Forbes magazine's list of the world's richest individuals. Arno also leads numerous social responsibility initiatives and makes generous donations to promote art. Arno's personal life is as intriguing as his business life. In 1991, he caused a scandal in France by divorcing his wife Anne Mercier and having a relationship with Canadian singer Celine Dion. However, Dion later married someone else, and Arno married Hélène Mercier. His personal life attracted significant media attention and controversy in France. Today, Bernard Arnault is a globally recognized and respected businessman. LVMH has become a company operating in more than 70 countries worldwide, and Arnault is considered one of the world's wealthiest individuals. Who is Bernard Arnault, and in which industry does he operate? What is LVMH, and which brands does it own? How significant is Bernard Arnault's leadership in the success of LVMH? For all this and more, before starting the video, if you're interested in universal economic history, you can subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to be informed about new videos I upload every day. Enjoy the watch! Universal Economic History Bernard Arnault has worked with and met many successful individuals in both the business and private spheres. His business partners and family members have played important roles in his business success and personal achievements. Arnault maintains a happy marriage with Hélène Mercier, whom he met in 1991 and later married. The couple has three children, Delphine, Antoine, and Alexander. Arnaud is devoted to his family, and despite his business accomplishments, he has always prioritized his family. The success of LVMH is a result of Arnaud's collaboration with his business partners and employees. As the president and CEO of LVMH, Arnaud works to hire the right people and implement the right strategies for the company's growth. He also maintains close relationships with his business partners. For example, Arno frequently collaborates with Sidney Toledano, the chairman of Christian Dior and one of the largest shareholders of LVMH. Yes, LVMH is the world's largest luxury brand conglomerate. LVMH owns many renowned luxury brands, including Louis Vuitton, Dior, Givenchy, Celine, Fendi, Kenzo, Marc Jacobs, Bulgari, Tag Heuer, Hublot, Sephora, and Le Bon Marche. The company is also the owner of champagne and luxury spirit brands such as Dom Perignon, Yu Cliqua, Moet and Chandon, and Hennessy. LVMH is a French company managed by Bernard Arnault and based in France. The company was established in 1987 through the merger of Moet Hennessy and Louis Vuitton, under Arnault's leadership. Over the years, LVMH has grown through acquisitions and incorporated many different luxury brands into its portfolio. LVMH operates in more than 60 countries worldwide and employs approximately 160,000 people. Its headquarters are in Paris, and it has offices in several major cities globally, including New York, Hong Kong, and Tokyo. France holds great significance in the global fashion industry. The French fashion industry has long been a pioneer in haute couture, luxury brands, and fashion design. 
Major French luxury brands like LVMH are among the key representatives of the French fashion industry. These brands have a significant impact on the global fashion and luxury consumption sectors. The French fashion industry holds a leading position worldwide in the design, production, and marketing of luxury goods. To maintain its leadership in the fashion industry, France continually works on innovation and creativity. The French fashion industry has produced many iconic fashion designs throughout history and continues to exert its influence worldwide. Bernard Arnault is a renowned businessman who ranks among the world's richest individuals and owns significant luxury brands like LVMH. His success is the result of various factors coming together. Arnault is known for his strategic thinking and transformed LVMH from a single luxury brand company into a luxury brand conglomerate. He expanded the number of brands under LVMH, contributing to the company's growth. Arno also strives to preserve the cultures and histories of the acquired brands while managing them. A significant part of Arno's success lies in understanding his customers' expectations and acting accordingly. He believes that LVMH brands should provide customers with not only products but also an exclusive experience. Therefore, Arno advocates for investing in enhancing the customer experience offered by LVMH brands. Arno owns numerous luxury properties. One of the most notable is his mansion located in the heart of Paris. This mansion is a historically and architecturally significant property that Arno passionately preserves. Additionally, he owns a ski lodge in Courcheval, one of the most beautiful locations in France. Arnaud's life of luxury is also reflected in his magnificent yachts. He enjoys being a yacht owner and possesses several luxury yachts. One of the most famous is Symphony, a 100-meter yacht. Symphony was completed in 2015 and features a modern design. Arnaud's yacht collection also includes several other exclusive yachts. Arnaud is also active in the art world and owns a significant art collection. His collection consists of modern and contemporary art pieces. Arno shares his collection with museums worldwide and works towards the future of art. Bernard Arno is not only a successful businessman but also a leader who makes significant contributions to society through philanthropy. He is recognized as a philanthropic figure for his charitable work. Arno is a founding member of the Louis Vuitton Foundation, established by LVMH and Vuitton families. The foundation, founded in 1992, supports projects in art, culture, education, and health. It aims to make art more accessible to a broader audience by supporting young artists' works. Additionally, Arno is one of the leading philanthropists among business leaders in France. In 2018, he made a 200 million euros donation to support the modernization of Hôpital Saint Louis in Paris. This donation is recorded as the largest personal philanthropic contribution in France. As the chairman of LVMH's board of directors, Bernard Arnault has a significant impact on the company's future. However, Arnault reached the age of 72 in 2021 and could be considered relatively old for a long-term leadership position. Therefore, the management of LVMH in the future is an important consideration. Due to his extensive experience in the business world, Arno has undertaken various strategic planning efforts to ensure a solid foundation for the future of LVMH. His strategies and projects that have contributed to the company's growth will continue with new initiatives led by Arno. Under Arno's leadership, LVMH has grown rapidly and become the largest luxury brand conglomerate globally. The company acquired renowned brands like Louis Vuitton, Dior, Fendi, Givenchy, Sephora, Bulgari, and Loro Piana. In conclusion, under Bernard Arnault's leadership, LVMH has become the world's largest luxury brand conglomerate. His strategies and projects provide a solid foundation for the company's future while aiming to lead in sustainability. However, considering Arnault's advancing age, there remains uncertainty about the future management of the company. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. If there's a specific video you'd like me to make on economic history, don't forget to mention it in the comments section. I wish everyone a pleasant day. Universal Economic History